Hello everybody, this is Lilla in Hawaii. I was going to show you something kind of funky and tricky. I have put together lace bags and they have been for sale in my shop. They look like this, they have 16 pieces of lace in them and a button and a vintage postcard. And so I took one that I kept for myself and made this bag that I was going to show you that uses probably only about a quarter of the lace width that is in the lace bag, if that makes sense. So in order to do that, I'm going to show you one of my folded bags. People seem to like my folding. I don't know why. Anyway, this one is a piece of muslin. It's going to be a bag with a flap. And the length is 28 inches. And it's 5 and a half inches wide. And it's one of my folded um, island style, I suppose. I've done some applique already here, and I'll tell you about that. This is all from the lace piece bag, and there's, it's a little tricky because you have to know where the placement is. So what I do is I fold up the bag as I want it first, so it's going to be like so, and I'm going to fold where the pocket is, so the pocket is going to be there. Okay, so that's my pocket right there. It's going to be there. And then I'm going to fold down this over top, and that's going to be where my flap is. And, the f and uh, in order to see where that's going to be, I've put a little pencil mark there. I've put a little pencil mark there. And, you, and also on the other side where the bag opening is, there and there. That's a guideline because that's where you're going to applique. If you want to do it ahead of time, which is kind of nice, you've got to sort of think upside down in a way, though, because this is the bottom of the flap. And I took the ruffled eyelet that was in this bag, and I sewed it to here, and that's going to be sh hanging down when it's all folded. In order to not catch it in the seam, I've left it open a little bit there, and I'm going to, when I sew it, I'm going to pull that in like that. Okay. So now I'm going to fold this into place where the pencil marks are, and that's it. That's the folded part. So let's go ahead and sew and see what happens. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here I am, sewing down the side, and I've pushed that eyelet lace right in there and this is just a press a foot length away and as I said I thought I would sew from the bottom however it seems easier on this side to not not take my own advice because I can see to push that eyelet lace out of the way easier okay here we go Make sure everything, you can put some pins in if you need to, to hold everything. I don't fasten off the ends because, as I mentioned, it's a possibility you may have to unpull it, or I may have to unpull it. Okay, so that's that now turning. And the way you turn them is you just turn twice, so you can turn here first, which is the flap, isn't it? So I'm going to turn that. And all the little pieces on the end that I tucked under, if I have to hand sew that, I'll do that later. Hopefully I won't have to. So where am I? Here I am. Okay, so I've got to this point. There's the little ruffle on the bottom, and as I said, I had to leave that to turn back. So I will probably just do a little hand sew on that. And then um, the pocket is the last thing to turn. And the pocket is lined. It's lined on one side. It's not lined on both sides. But it gives it substance and it looks good. So I'll do this just pushing the corners out. There we go. And then, of course, this is where I sewed everything on here. I think I need to pull that out a little bit. I may have caught that a little bit there, which I'll have to take care of. I've got, um, seems like I caught that little bit of lace there where I didn't want to catch it. 
So I'll take care of that later, that part of it. Okay, so this is the bag. That's the flap. Then this comes down over it. And that's using, oh, maybe a quarter of the lace. And I just applicate it all on. And as I mentioned, I'll hand sew this into place because that's where I, I kind of had to fold it back, if that makes sense. Now, the next thing to do, and I'm not going to do this sewing right now, but I made a strap for it. This is some of the lace that was in the kit. And I added um, seam binding to the back of it, sewed it with a sewing machine with a zigzag stitch because I wanted, you know, a little more stability. But that's going to be the handle. And let me show you. The way I'm going to put that is... I'm going to put it... I think it goes this way. There. I don't know whether I twisted that or not, but I hope I didn't. Okay, so that's going to be where the handle is. Okay. And I like the idea that it's like this. It looks really cool. Now, there's more to add to this. There's a button in the kit, and there's one of these, of course, so I thought I'd put a button. Which way? Yeah, there. And I could add some other from the kit as well to make a flower there, which I thought might be nice. I haven't done that yet. Everything here is from the kit. As I said, it only takes a, a little bit of the kit. It doesn't take anywhere near. I'll show you what I have left in a minute. Then the other thing that's in the kit, which is really funky, I have no clue what it is. It, it, these are like tabs. These are Victorian, and they came from an older state, and I had a bunch of them. So I put one in each kit. They had this dear little antique button here, which means to me that it must have been, I don't know if anyone knows, must have been like so, and you could button it, maybe? Um, it's too, you know, that wouldn't be any good for a napkin, serviette. No, because I don't think they used them in those days. It could have been on a garment as a placket fold thing or something. Vic one of those Victorian whites. Maybe. I don't know. But I put it in the kit and I thought, just for f fun, I will add it to the bottom here somewhere of the flap. And I'm not sure if I'll leave it that way or if I'll fold it up and put the button through the hole. I don't know what I'm going to do. But this is to play with. So th these are in the kit, and they're just great. I love them. See, that could go like that, which actually I think looks better. With this like this, and then this is the strap. And so you get all that in the kit, and that's your, that's your bag so easy. Now, I haven't finished with this. I'm going to go ahead and coffee dye it, because I want it to be a little more grungy looking. And then I may add a few more trinkets onto it. Um, I may add some more seam binding, I may add a ruffle, another ruffle, I may add, um, I'm not sure. Anyway, let me show you what uh, what's left. So that was just part of the kit, and then this is what's left. Uh, there's this old lace collar. There's this piece of lace, and you can see I've probably cut up some of it. I took one, just one thing of this and sewed it there. Then I've got, there were two meters of this crocheted edging, and I've got one of them I sewed onto here. Um, this is left over from the ruffled eyelet. There's also this left. I didn't use this, and I didn't use this zigzag trim. And there are two pieces of that. was probably like that. And then I used some of that. Let me see what else there was. So that's all left. So that's enough for two more bags if you want to do bags. And um, it's just fun playing with it. Just chop it all up willy-nilly. Coffee diet, tea diet, um, whatever. And then you can make, you can easily make three bags out of that. So I hope this was all in focus, was it? I 
<laughs> it's by the way, it's sitting on one of these vintage grain sack tea towels from Europe, from France, and I am going to be returning to France. Hopefully, I can find a few more. They're not cheap anymore. But that's that. This is the one that's for sale in my shop. I have three more, and I'm going to use them as giveaways. So stay tuned, and if and I will send to international because I think it's not fair when people have a giveaway and it's only to the U.S. And um, I think I can splurge and send at least one, and then there'll be three, three, one, two, three, for giveaways, all exactly the same as this, but different postcards on them, and all the postcards are antique. So, and you, there will be the button inside, and of course this lovely little dealie, and everything you see, the seam binding is not in there, but the, the lace that I used with the handle is there. So anyway, keep tuned. I will put a separate video, I think, up for that, but it's going to be a giveaway, and it will be, oh, a month or six weeks, because I am going to be going away in September. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't too complicated. Let me just hold it up again. Thank you for watching. Have fun. Lilla in Hawaii. Aloha.